am a proud conservative and a proud American. I am the conservative wolf. I am a victor, not a victim. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the conservative wolf, once again. Oh, shucks now. Look at it now. Look at it. Look at it. There you go. Y'all want to see it again? Look at it. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show, guys. I appreciate y'all watching, as always. And um, despite my crazy sense of humor, right? Um, today's video is going to be about your girl, Oprah Winfrey. But I have a new name for Oprah. Awful Winfrey. Because it's God awful what she's doing. Now, I know, you know, maybe some of y'all have heard about Oprah with the uh, white privilege video and uh, talking about how, uh, you know, pushing the victimology, victimology mentality. And, and it's a damn shame. It's a shame. Yeah, it's, it's a shame uh, that you have. I mean, I, I felt some kind of way about it to the point where um, I did a Facebook Live on my Facebook this morning about it. Uh, I felt compelled. I felt like uh, God was compelling me to just speak on it. And the thing about it is this, y'all. You have a black multi-billionaire, right? Oprah's a billionaire. Oprah's like the top in the top one percent, right? Like, like Oprah's up there. Her money is, you know, I mean, she up there with President Trump and with the billionaire club. I mean, you know, the woman has her own TV network. Got books out there, magazines. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, um, Oprah had humble beginnings. Oprah grew up poor, um, start off as a TV news anchor, um, drove a Honda, you know, uh, I mean, Oprah started off with humble beginnings, and here she is, multi-billionaire, a black multi-billionaire, and I, I want to say this, um, you know, really, it shouldn't be about color. Um, you know, we're all human beings, we're all part of the human race. But let's just, let's just say, let's just call it what it is, right? Um, you, we still have issues in different ethnic groups. Um, I'm not going to even, the term race is a misused term because we're, we're all of the human race. Really, it's ethnicities is what it should be. That's the proper word. Um, but... In the black community, we have unique issues, right? And when you have uh, a black multi-billionaire uh, or multi-millionaire, it doesn't matter. LeBron James is another idiot. Um, and I want to bring up Steve Harvey because I'm extremely disappointed with Steve Harvey. I don't even listen to the radio show anymore. I'm just, I'm, I'm done with Steve Harvey. Because I, I'm just, that's a whole nother video. I'm not going to even get into that right now, but I'll tell you all about that later. But getting back to Oprah Winfrey, you have a black multi-billionaire, right? Why in the hell are you talking about white privilege, which doesn't exist? Okay, now the logic behind this is really there's really no logic it well it's liberal logic and usually liberals liberals logic don't make no damn sense because it's based on emotions and how they feel and not facts okay based on false narratives so you mean to tell me that you're gonna sit here and say that the um systemically racist uh, white supremacy um, white privilege system is 
is designed to make white people superior and black people inferior and keep you down okay but you're a black billionaire and you're telling black people this what I don't understand is how some black folks are so stupid or just so dense or so brainwashed that they can't even see the contradiction in that whole thing right so you're rich you're filthy rich somehow the systemically racist white privileged people who don't want to see black people make it allowed your black ass to make it so how they allowed you to make it I, I, I'm not getting that they, 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 they let you make it you came from nothing nothing they let LeBron James make it he came from nothing they let Steve Harvey make it Steve Harvey roughed it for years Steve Harvey came from nothing they let Tyler Perry make it he came from nothing broken home uh, child molest man Tyler Perry went through a lot but th these what really pisses me off with Oprah is Oprah and a lot of these other ones like her they have an opportunity to empower the black community or, or the, the black people that's in the black community that's still on the plantation they have an opportunity to do that they, they're powerful enough that they can stand against the left tide against the, the, the leftist uh, uh, ideology and bullshit but they're not going to do that because they're part of the problem you know uh, they're liberal they're, they're filthy rich liberals they're black liberals with that liberal ideology you know they, they you know and that's, what they, that's what it is man brainwash city but I can't blame them for everything because it, at some point people are supposed to have enough sense common sense to see through the bullshit I'm just saying y'all I mean if, if a rich black person comes to me and starts spouting off about oh you know you're black and oh you, you'll never be as good as and, and that's another thing the, the black folks that buy into this shit are so brainwashed and some of them are so just dumb and ignorant they don't even realize they're being insulted do you know how insulting that is to for somebody to come to you and say oh well these people are, are privileged and uh, you're a nobody you don't have those same privileges you're, you're, you're inferior to them you know but let us help you and 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 don't get me started on Joe Biden by the way if black folks the black people that are voting for Joe Biden are stupid I'm sorry but they're stupid they're stupid and they're brainwashed because this man comes out every day saying something blatantly racist blatantly racist if President Trump said half the things this man said well, well they try to crucify the president every time he opened his mouth whether he right or wrong now sometimes our boy can say some things that's kind of rough around the edges you know I admit that but that's why we love him because he's just a realist he's a straight up guy man he's like look says how he feels he's a human being that's what people do but we've become a society of people who don't like straight shooters they, they don't like straight up people because we, we're becoming the Mamby Pamby society everybody's all sensitive oh they're so sensitive well it's only this much of the population that feels that way right like the rest of us get it the rest of us get it it's, it's the small percent that's backed by the liberal news media right and see Oprah Winfrey uh, is a disgrace Oprah's a disgrace you know, I used to like Oprah, but but man, I really backed away from Oprah 
anyway when she was on that anti-God, man, you, come on, man. You on that anti-God stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you something. You know, uh, Illuminati is real. And some of these people sell their soul for profit. Now, I don't know if that's what Oprah did, but hey, let's remember Epstein, right? Y'all remember Epstein? I ain't gonna go no further with it than that because that's a whole nother video. Okay? I'm not gonna touch that no more. Because I'm gonna have to wash my damn hand with bleach and sanitizer and my phone too. But um, anyway, guys, you know, tell me what you think. Um, I, may, I may do an add on video to this whole Oprah situation. But uh, it's disgusting. Oprah sitting there uh, and she's really she's really hurting the black community she really is people like Oprah Oprah LeBron I mean they're 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 hurting the black community because you're not empowering black people you're not empowering them you're not you're not saying you should be saying hey I'm wealthy I'm black like you I made it this is America you're black and in America you can do the same thing I did because America is the land of opportunity and and that's the truth they didn't they didn't become successful in Africa they did it right here in the United States of America man come on I, I don't get how people just can't see that shit man it's so blatantly obvious I digress man I, I'm you know what oh but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, got more videos coming up. I appreciate y'all, man. I try to make these videos short, but, you know, talking about these topics, man, it's kind of hard to smash it into five minutes, four or five minutes. It's just, it's just hard to do that. But thank you for watching, guys. Man, I love y'all, my, y'all, my patriot, conservative family. I appreciate you guys. God bless you. Prayers go out to you out there. Y'all be safe. And remember, you are victors, not victims. And I'm going to talk to y'all later.